a second win for Thomas Christensen's side. Yeah, I think he'd be very happy. I think uh, it wasn't a great first hour, but I think uh, introduction of Bridcut, obviously in the second half, and Alioski changed the whole complexion of the game, really. And the last half an hour was good to watch. Um, some good goals. Obviously, Saez gets his hat trick and uh, Ekiban gets his first goal. So I think all in all, the new players, or you know, the, the foreign players, um, had a good half an hour at the end of the game, and 4 1 was about right, really, because the second half, these played really well. And regarding Samuel Saez, that you just mentioned there, a dream debut. Three goals on your debut at Old Road. It doesn't come in trying, does it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I think my debut was a long time ago, and I, <laughs> I scored on my debut, and that was a great feeling, but to get three on your. Uh, your first game at Ellen Road is, it is like you say, he'll be, he'll be thrilled tonight. Um, but come the weekend, uh, I'm not sure whether he'll play or start the game. I think he might be on the bench. Obviously, Hernandez normally plays in the same role uh, in the hole. But he can do no more than he did tonight. He scored three goals, he played really well. He's a cute, clever player. Um, and I was very impressed with him tonight, as I was, to be fair, with, with Alioski in the last half an hour when he came on because he changed the game totally. How about uh, Cameron Both with Jackson first? Appearance for him in the sure. Yeah, I think he did all right. I think the back four in general won't be happy with the goal they conceded because it was a poor goal from a long throw in. They missed the two headers. Um, and obviously, Michael Tong's, you know, seen younger days, but he strolled through the, the back four and, and put it in well. So that was that would be a, you know, a, a poor point in the night for the back four to see that simple goal. But uh, in general, it was a comfortable night for the back four. Um, come the weekend against Preston, next Tuesday against Fulham, you'll see more testing um, players against these players um, but I think the team anyway I say from, from the weekend ahead against Preston will probably be the same team that played against Bolton last weekend um, could be wrong there might be one or two changes but I think the manager in general will be happy with the way the team played against Bolton last weekend in a, you know, a tough place to go first game of the season against a promoted team never easy they got a good result regarding the defence it seems like obviously yeah, with Penton going out Berardi out as well and eaters uh, in the defence, and then obviously the, brought in Cameron Bothwell Jackson. Is, is the defence a little bit of a worry though? Well, I mean, last year it was the strength of the team. You know, Rob Green's not been picked so far without a favour. Uh, new keeper's obviously come in, so we'll see how he, he fares um, early in the season. Uh, and the back four well, last year was, was obviously Ailing, Barkley, Janssen, and Berardi or Taylor. So Taylor's moved on, Berardi's been injured, Barkley's gone back, Janssen's been suspended. So it's it's been a change back four really. So I think we're all hoping at some point that obviously Janssen will come back in. It will be Ailing at right back, Berardi at left back, um, and another centre half possibly. It might be Sean C, it might be Liam Cooper, it might be a another. Um, but it's obviously a, a vital area that tonight we saw that you know, Portville got a cheap goal tonight. Against better teams in the Championship, you will pay for that. Do you think Michael Brown uh, was uh, happy with his return to Ellen Road? Uh, I will certainly hope not. You know, <laughs> for the first hour, his team did all right, and for an hour, they had a sniff of the, of the game, really. Um, but once uh, the change was made uh, and the two goals went in in two minutes, the game was done. But, you know, his, his bigger thing for him is at the weekend they won 3 1 at Crawley. Um, and he wanted to do well in his first job in management, which is a big chance for him, really. Uh, a good football club in a, in a really hot bed of, of football in the Stoke on Trent area. They're obviously a big hit around that part of the world. And he'll know if he can get things right down there, but he may go on bigger and better things. Uh, but tonight, the last half an hour, his team got torn to shreds a little bit, and he'll know that. But they're good players, you know, the better players in Port Vale have got. Um, hence, they win the game 4 1. When it comes to, obviously, Adrian Rabrazani has said that top six is the aim. How realistic? I know it's only been two games. Do you think that aim is? Well, I mean, this football club can be in the Premier League, it's proven that. Uh, last year, they finished seventh, which is the worst place to be, really, at the end of the season. Um, things have changed since then, there's a new ownership, the ground looks a lot better than it did this time last year. Um, but it may take time, you know, Huddersfield Town now in the Premier League. David Wagner wasn't known two years ago, uh, they got their house in order two or three years, they built a new stadium. Um, and now they're, they're bearing the fruits of that, of that forward planning really. Um, so it may happen this year, it may be next year, but you know, he's obviously a very forward thinking guy, he'll want to get players in from wherever. Um, to get this club into the Premier League. That, that has to be his aim, certainly. Um, and it may take two or three years, but I, I think as long as the, the fans are happy, the, the football that you see, the team putting a lot in, and they're moving forward on and off the pitch, hence they brought the ground back and they brought for, for Barch back, then I think they're all thinking, at least at some point in the future, not too far away, 
this club will have a chance of being back in the Premier League. Finally, uh, obviously you've played at Allen Road. Brand new look to Allen Road. Obviously the East Stand is going to be uh, finished hopefully for the game with Preston. But the South Stand, I don't know if you've had a chance to see it, but have you seen the proposals or anything like um, Brand new look to the stadium. I have actually, yeah. I mean, it's great. I mean, you know, when I was here 25 years ago or whatever, it hadn't changed that much until this summer, really. Uh, but the changing things look great now, and obviously the stands are getting improved. Um, and it's probably long overdue, really, but that's why I say that I think the fans are happy they can see things are moving forward on and off the pitch. Um, which is obviously, corporate is a big thing nowadays in football. It's a lot of money involved in corporate hospitality. So um, the owner clearly is, is clued in, you know, and he's taken over a big football club that is turning around not, 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 you know, swiftly, just doing the right things at the right time. Um, the manager obviously was unknown to me before the season started, um, but like I mentioned, David Wagner was unknown two years ago, so you know, let's give him a chance. He'll bring in, I'd imagine, I'd imagine two or three players before the deadline. You know, you look at his record, he's at Barcelona as a player, not a top player, but in the Barcelona team, um, and played with Ronald Koeman. Hence we have Pennington from Everton now, I'd, I'd imagine that was a favour. Um, he played the same team as Guardiola, so, and he knows Jose Mourinho from Man United now, hence we get Borthwick Jackson on loan. So I, he has friends in high places, so um, I, I do believe that he'll use those contacts and gradually make the Leeds a strong team this year. Um, and like, you know, not like last year where we ran out of steam really from January onwards. I'm hoping this year it's a slow burner and then in January bring in reinforcements and see where it takes us. Finally for me actually, I've got, um, I've got to see uh, Samuel Sears doing the Leeds salute to the Leeds fans following uh, three goals on the debut. There's no better way surely to uh, adhere yourself to the Leeds fans, is there? Oh, well, I know what the fans are like here, they're fantastic and you know, they, they never forget really you know, and you know, I always feel the warmth when I come back here, it's a genuine warmth and you know, if you do well for Leeds I'll never forget that. And, you know, he scored three on his debut. So, like you say, it doesn't get much better than that. Um, but come May, if somebody scores a winning goal, it takes Leeds into the Premier League, then that will be a bit better. But that's a long way off at the moment.